I want to sh- share two things with you here. Number one, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you accept it or practice or not, to God Almighty, government is a continuum. What one government does or does not do can affect subsequent governments. Before God Almighty, government is what? A continuum. What Jonathan did will affect Buari. What Buari is doing will affect others. Do you understand that? Okay. Buari got there and saw that the treasury uh, was almost nil. And added to that trouble, oil price dropped. So we are in recession. So many things are responsible for it. And it can go on from year to year until you locate where the trouble is. Or else, if you tell you'll be using ringworm medicine <laughs> for leprosy and you know what that is called uh, policy abracadabra you won't think through it, God I will show this was wrong so what one government does will affect subsequent governments and now until justice is done huh You can fast for 10 days before the Lord. You can do what you like. That will not appease God until you give what is due to who is due. The moment seven sons of Saul, descendants of Saul, were killed, God was appeased. But you know what? That didn't heal the land. Because there was something else missing. Are you ready for this? Can you handle this? Shall I tell you? Would you tell it on the mountain top? When Saul died his miserable death, who were the people? That went to take his body to bury him in their territory. The people of Jabez Gilead. When David became king over Israel, over Judah, and they told him what the people of Jabez Gilead had done in his song, when he said, Tell it not in God, by the time you get to chapter 4 of 2 Samuel, he now sent a message to the people of Jabez Gilead. He said, I thank you for what you have done for Saul in giving him a burial. But prepare to fight for your master. Do you understand that? He said, prepare to fight because Judah has made me king. And since you are zealous for, be ready to fight me. But the people of Jabez Gilead did not fight. Come back to where David now hung seven sons of Saul. The Bible says David now had to go to where Saul was buried because he became a sectional leader at death, yet he was anointed king over Israel. They had to go and gather his bone and the bones of his sons and they brought them to the tomb of Kish their father. They were gathered to their ancestors as will be done to anyone in Israel who occupied a notable position. From Abraham down the line. Are you listening to me? Hear me. The democracy you are enjoying today, Abiola paid for it with his life. And only a section of the nation has honored him. It's only a noble state. And among the southwest that you have Democracy Day or the day the man was killed that they will June 12th. June 12th day. There has been no national honor given to him. You are not listening to me. You know, I, you know I prophesied against him not to go. So it cannot be that I'm looking for something and I'm not from his family. 
But I'm telling you, until the bones of Saul and his sons were taken from the people of Jabesh and given a proper state burial, that plague did not stop. Do you understand me? If Shoneko with an illegality, with Shoneko with his interim government sits still today, sits in the state council of state meeting. Abiola deserves the title of Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. He won that election. You know he won it, but you have played with it and you have done nothing about it because you think you are in charge. The plague will continue until you honor him. Let me read the portion to you. First Samuel. Second Samuel chapter 21 verse 12. Despite the rebellion of Saul, until he was given his due by King David, the turnaround expected after three years of famine did not happen. Second Samuel 21, 12 to 14. Then David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son from the men of Jabesh Gilead who had stolen them from the street of Bethshan, where the Philistines had hung them up, after the Philistines had struck down Saul in Gilboa. So he brought up the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son from there, and they gathered the bones of those who had been hanged. They buried the bones of Saul and Jonathan his son in the country of Benjamin, in Zela, in the tomb of Kish's father, so they perform all that the king commanded. And after that, God heeded the prayer for that land. Until we bring a closure to June 12, 1993, you'll be hanging over subsequent generation and subsequent government. You can call his family and give him a posthumous honor for the price he paid. Otherwise, everyone standing on red carpet is standing on his blood. <laughs> 